Hey guys, it's Brandon here, coming at you with some more Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really practice too much for this. I did like a run, a run or two. Got this dude pretty much down. All right. So, he's dead. Now for this fool. Now I figured out that the deal with him, like I've known all along, you gotta get him at the peak of your jump and make sure that you bounce off. Cause if you don't, you're done. Oh. Oh, that was close. Having speed definitely helps you get that height. So you wanna focus on that. Don't go near him when he's doing this. I do recall, I think you're, there is a way that you're able to get him while you do that. Or get him while he does that, but I, I don't want to take that risk. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Don't hit them damn spikes. Alright, don't move in here. I'm just gonna shoot his hands again. Let him do his little spiel with this. Just making sure he didn't shoot his hands again. Oh, that was scary. I really thought for a second I was gonna hit him. I mean, it was gonna hit me. Oh my. Slow and steady wins the race as far as this goes. Like I'm, I'd rather make sure I get the few hits on him than uh, die and have to do it all over again. So he's gonna do his little thing again where he walks. Oh, that was so close. Yes! And that is it. Oh! Robotnik defeated. Oh yeah. That felt good. Yeah, I probably did like... One practice run where I used up like three lives. Just to get there. But I didn't beat him. During my practice run, so... I'm actually feeling quite satisfied that I managed to beat him on that right there. That was awesome. Just soak it in for a moment. Sonic free falling from space. The atmosphere has no effect because he's so fast. That's my explanation. Of course, Tails comes with his... Somehow fixed his plane altogether. And saved the day. Oh, yes. This calls for a shot. Now, if you do get supersonic, he turns supersonic when he does that. So that's the actual good ending as opposed to the regular ending. But that was awesome. Oh my god. <clears throat> I was really starting to stress it because... Because I'd really... I didn't think I was going to get it. During my practice runs... I didn't think when I started recording that I was really going to be able to pull it off. I really didn't. Like, I, I don't know why I have so much trouble getting that jump. It, the speed really helps. you got to make a running, running run at him. A running run. Make a running run at him, and then make a jumping jump 
as high as you can jump and jump and hit him off the chest. Off his chesty chest. Oh, man. And hopefully the spiky spikes on his army arms don't pokey poke you. Oh, man. That was intense. And I'm so glad that I got that done. Another playthrough is finished. Another check mark in the book. I gotta figure the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do playthroughs of games that I really wanna do like legit runs of later. And what I'm gonna do is after I, after I do my playthrough, it's gonna be a good bit down, like down the road after I do like most of the playthroughs that I feel like doing and stuff. And I'll still have more to do. There's always more playthroughs to do. But uh, as far as like this game goes and like other games like Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden 2 and stuff, like I still haven't finished Ninja Gaiden 1 completely on the channel. I have yet to beat the bosses. But I do plan at some point doing live streams of all these games and doing them all in one run without using continues and just like just like I did with uh, Contra and Super C and games like that. I want to I want to do one legit full playthrough run without using continue, uh, maybe without dying. I'm I'm not that good at games. Uh. I'm, I'm, I consider myself okay, but I wouldn't say I'm good enough that I can play through most games without dying. There's a few. Like, I almost got through uh, Cybernator for the Super Nintendo without a death, but other than that, I mean, it's really, it's tricky. I mean, something like Simon's Quest or something I can do, but uh, I don't know, not a lot of people are big fans of Simon's Quest. Not really, like, uh, talk through that ending, you know, but I guess that's what I'm kind of supposed to do with the commentary, but that was Sonic the Hedgehog 2, that was my playthrough of it, if you guys like that playthrough, be sure to hit that like button, please hit that like button, because, yeah, I'm glad I got it done with, and, uh, if any of you guys want to see my playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 in the future, be sure to, uh, Stay tuned and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See ya!